Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. I'm on location today at one of Canada's newest Tesla stores. In fact, it's so new, it's still being renovated. There's a little bit of an interesting backstory that I'm gonna to wanna to talk to you about. This used to be an Infiniti dealership. Uh, so we'll spend some time just talking about that briefly. And then we're going to take the camera off the mount and we're gonna go take a tour around, uh, see the current state of renovation and if there's any signs yet that this uh, Tesla, new Tesla store is going to be ready anytime soon. So that's what I have planned today. Let's get started. So before we get too far into it, and yes, I am wearing my sunglasses now, it's just too much sun. Um, <laughs> before we get too far into it, where exactly are we? So let's take a quick look at Google Maps. We're about 80 kilometers north of downtown Toronto in what's called the Greater Toronto Area, just south of a town called Barrie. Um, interestingly enough, this is going to be the first Tesla store that's considered to be uh, north of the GTA. So this is a kind of a first for uh, the province of Ontario. There's a fairly big population up here if you include Barrie and some of the surrounding uh, towns and cities. Uh, so it's about time we had a Tesla store up this far north. In my research for this video, what I found out is that this Infiniti, X-Infiniti uh, dealership I was opened in February of 2015. So just a little over five years ago that this dealership opened as an Infiniti uh, dealership. Now, keep in mind the purpose of this video is not to kick Infiniti when they're down. I know that they've struggled in North America of late. Uh, so this video is not about that. The fact that it used to be Infiniti could, be a, could have been a, I don't know, a Pontiac dealership from back in the day before GM shuttered that. But, um, my point here is that this was likely a distressed sale, which means that Infiniti was looking to exit the market and Tesla had an opportunity to come in and I think get a really great property at probably an amazing price. Just behind the camera there, you might be able to hear it, but there's a major highway, it's called the Highway 400. And um, one of the busiest segments uh, in probably all of Canada, in Ontario for sure. Uh, not as busy as the 401, but uh, still quite busy. So off of the highway, it's got some fantastic visibility. You see some signage go up there probably quite soon. It says Tesla, obviously. Uh, so they'd have made a brilliant move, I think, taking over this location. And again, they probably saved a ton of money. Before we go around the building, you can probably see behind me here now, that's where the highway is, very heavy traffic. Again, great location, can't wait for the signage to go up that says Tesla on this thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a walk around now and uh, see what the progress is like and see if we can see any signs of it being ready. All right, walking up to the building, we can see that there's plywood where the rock wall used to be uh, and up there is where it said infinity and uh, obviously they've got tesla has their own mind in terms of how they want this to look just backing out for a shot here <laughs> okay i'm not sure if you saw that because of the uh, horizon leveling but i just tripped over that so we'll see how good the horizon leveling uh, stabilization is on this gopro okay uh let's go take a look inside and see what we can see. So there looks like, I don't know how this is going to, let me see if I can cup the camera a little bit like this and see if we can see inside. There we go, okay, there we go. So you can see that there is some construction ongoing inside. Looks like they're redoing a lot of stuff Back in the day, um, I will admit to having bought an Infiniti. <laughs> it was the last car I had uh, prior to Tesla, and I actually purchased it from uh, this location here. So I am familiar with the inside and uh, what it used to look like. And it'll be really interesting to see uh, tes Tesla's interpretation on this building. So back here, 
So that would have been the showroom, obviously what I just uh, showed you. And as we continue to walk around, this right here is where the service uh, used to be. So you would pull your vehicle in there. No, wait, actually it might've been on the other side. It's been a while. Uh, since I've actually been at this building, but we'll go around the other side to verify that. But that does lead into the service area. Uh, let's see again. I'll see if I can cup the camera and see if we can get a glance inside. So doing my best that I can to try to get uh, a view in here. Um, you know, with the sun shining on the window, it's not easy but there you go i think we've got some kind of a view to the inside there let's keep walking around uh, we've got some parking area here so there's actually let's take a look at this parking lot it's massive uh, we know that tesla uh, doesn't like to hold a lot of inventory they like to just sell through their product which they have been lately in fact, um, they're sold out for the next quarter. So, but when it comes to delivery time, they could still make use of all of this parking. This is gonna fit a colossal number of Teslas for delivery. There's no doubt. All right, let's continue our journey here. Actually, I think it's coming back to me now. Right over there is where the service center uh, entrance was actually I think you would pull in on this side if memory serves me correct. Or maybe you pulled in on the other side next to this side, I don't know. <laughs> 2015 was a long time ago. All right, let's see what we can see. If anything says Tesla on the inside there. Yes, we found the first thing that says Tesla on it. Okay, um, I'm not sure what that is like a, I don't know, container of some sort, but there's a whole bunch of them and they all say Tesla on them. So make no mistake, the rumors are true. This is going to be a new Tesla store. Uh, the proof is in the pudding right there. So how super exciting is that? Um, before looking in there, there's nothing else to indicate that this is going to be a Tesla store, but we just found our proof right inside. All right, we've got a giant garbage bin here, no doubt. That is uh, all of the stuff they've pulled out of here for the renovation. You know what? Well, so far, I mean, there's cameras around here. You can see there's cameras on the building, but so far no one's coming. So let's just go see what else we can see. I'm going to cup the camera again. Hopefully we can see inside. And there's more stuff down here that says Tesla on it. This is super exciting. That right there is the door that um, allows the vehicles to go in and out of the showroom. Just panning out here for a wider view. And uh, there you have it. This is uh, Tesla's newest store in Canada. But you know what? What's nearby? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. So we have an Audi dealership here. Um, actually, I bought a car from them as well. <laughs> you know, before Tesla, I couldn't find the right car Literally, I was getting something new just about every year or two. Uh, I was never happy until Tesla. My Model X was the longest I've kept a car uh, in, since I can remember. And I kept that one for three years. And it was fantastic. All right, over on this side, we have Subaru. 
And then just on the other side of Subaru over there is a Mercedes dealership. So in terms of competition, um, if Mercedes ever does produce in quantities their ECQ or whatever they call it, uh, you know, there could be some uh, competition there, but uh, no charging infrastructure. So that's another story. Uh, I'm not sure how much competition it actually is. You'd have to really want a Mercedes and not care about where you can charge it on a trip. All right, so that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that uh, subscribe button. I think that's what they all say now, smash or whatever. <laughs> Just kind of poke it. All right. Um, yeah, Tesla Canuck, over and out.